This next part will be just a little bit complicated because we need to set things up so that our five cannons orbit around the center of the boss. First I have a new sprite called Sprite Cannon. It is 32 by 32. Its origin is centered and it has precise collision checking and it's just this ball that will fit into the hole on the boss sprite. Click OK and I've created an object from this called Object Cannon. It uses the sprite, is visible. I'm going to give it a depth of negative five, same as the laser, and I will give it a parent of our super parent. Even though the laser will be used to destroy these cannons, I want to have these with several hit points so it takes multiple hits to destroy them. So we need to create several variables to begin with. Let's add event, create, and come over to control, set variable. First, let's set up the variable hit underscore points. And for the, our game right now, I'm just going to give it a value of 5. In a real game, we'd probably want a little bit more just to make it that much more difficult to actually destroy it. And then we need to set up another variable. And this variable is going to be called B radius. I want to put an underscore in there for boss radius. And I'm going to give that a value of 50. Click OK. And where I get this 50 from is from the sprite itself. If I open up the sprite boss here, if I move my center point up to the center point of this hole, and you pay attention to the Y, you'll see that there is about a 50 pixel difference. I'm going to set that back to 106. But that is the radius that I have determined, the distance away from the center that I want my cannons. So obviously on your sprite this value might be different. And now comes the tricky part because we need to be able to place these cannons in their proper places around the star. The way we determine where those cannons should be placed is by dividing the star into equal angles. Since it is basically a pentagon, that means that we should get angles of about 72 degrees. So each position will be 72 degrees apart. Now because my sprite was kind of created poorly, I have to adjust just a little bit, but the principle will be the same. So I'm going to separate all this coming code with a comment. I'm just going to say set angle. So everything after this is going to set up the angle position of our cannons. Now there are going to be five of them and they each need their own specific location. And the way we're going to determine that is by taking them one at a time as they are created on screen. We'll have the boss object create the cannons when it comes on screen. But we'll have to set up in this object the process for determining its location. So the way we're going to do that is by coming into the questions on the control tab and we're going to get this little ball with a 1, 2, 3 test instance count and drag that in. And the object we're going to check for is the object cannon. We're going to see if it is equal to 1 because this will be the first cannon on screen. And if that's the case, we need to drag in some blocks. And we're going to set a variable. And I'm going to call this P underscore angle for position angle. And this one is going to be 17. And click OK, and then I'm going to add another variable. And this one is going to be image underscore angle. And this is also going to be 17. So now we need to repeat this process four more times. I'm just going to drag another comment in at the bottom. It can just stay blank. And holding down the control key, I'm just going to click and add all of these. Right click copy with the bottom comment selected. Select paste. Now I'm going to change the values on this second one. The second one is going to have values of 90 in both the P angle and the image angle. We can come to the comment, paste another one, and this one is going to be 160. And before we get too much further, I actually need to go back and test the value. 
instead of equal to 1, this needs to be equal to 2, and this one needs to be equal to 3. Okay, so let's paste a fourth one, change that value to 4, and this one is going to be a P angle of 235 and an image angle of 235. And then paste one last one, set this value to 5 with a P angle of 305 and an image angle same thing. So you should have five separate tests and depending on which sprite this is or which object this is it will set its P angle and its image angle accordingly. So now they're set in their proper places around the star but we need to also have them rotate along with the boss. So we're going to add event step step and we're going to have to use some new formulas. So come over to our set variable, drag that over, and we want to set variable x to a value of obj underscore boss dot x plus length dir or length direction underscore x parentheses b underscore radius comma p underscore angle and parentheses. So this is rather complicated. This length direction x is a built-in property of Game Maker, and it basically determines the distance between one point and the origin point. But what this is going to do is keep the cannon object at a constant distance and position, because of these two arguments right here, our radius and our angle from the center of the object boss. So click OK. And now we need to repeat this for the Y. So all we're going to do is copy this, paste it, and in the bottom one we're going to change all of these X's to Y's. So hit OK. And that is the most complicated part about this process. So check your spelling, make sure it is all correct, and then finally we need to get it to rotate around with the boss object. So let's bring in yet another set variable. This is going to be p underscore angle to 1 relative. And we're going to bring in another one. This is going to be image underscore angle set to 1 relative. Click OK. And so now we actually need to have these created by the boss object when it comes on screen. So let's close the object cannon and reopen our object boss. And in the create event, we're going to come to main one and create instance. The instance we will create is our object cannon and we'll give it, say, a y of negative 50 relative. It doesn't really matter where these are created because we've already set up an automatic repositioning in the object cannon. All that big long complicated list that we did to set its angle and its position will put it where it needs to be correctly. You just need the object boss to actually make the cannons when it is created. So click OK and we can just copy this and paste it four more times. Paste, 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 paste. Okay, so it'll create five cannons when it is created, and then because of all that stuff we did in the object cannon, it'll position itself and it should rotate in position with the boss. So let's close this and run the game again. And here they come, and there they are, and they kind of snapped into place, but you can see that they are all in position and they are all rotating around at the same speed as the boss object you'll notice that there is just a little bit of a gap on some of these. That is not because of the math or anything, it's just because again this underlying sprite is not perfectly symmetrical. If you look at the object cannons themselves though, they are in the correct place. But now that we've got the cannons in place, we need to make them be able to shoot at the player, and then we need 
to have the player be able to destroy them, and then once all the cannons are gone, the boss itself will be destroyed. So we'll move on into the next video.